Yo, 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 rocking out another car live feed. This is something different. I think I just changed my singlet today. I'm going in a different direction, which is cool. So I'm just going to hang here till people jump on. Totally different time of day this time too. I've been really mixing it up because I do want to. I do want to get to a wider audience, but be very specific. It's not about sharing. It's not about getting it out there everywhere. Apparently. Yeah, got my nephew here. Josh is there watching the live stream while he's in the passenger seat, which is really, really cool. Even though there's a delay, it's pretty freaky. Anyone who jumps on, like I say, I'm going to roll this out for a minute or two before everyone jumps on. Definitely piqued people's interest lately with a few changes I've made and what I've been doing. Um, the people I've linked arms with, which is really, really cool. Um, the fact that I'm not in Bali at the moment, uh, which was a big choice to make, um, which is interesting. How are you, Sandy? Everyone who jumps on, you know the drill. Say hi. How are you, Julie? What I'm going to talk about now links in with everything I've been talking about the last few days about what drives you, what motivates you, what's keeping you where you are. Because obviously, whatever's driving you is not, not you're not tapping into it enough. Um, it's really, really important with whatever you do in life that you know why you're doing it. Why are you in there? Why are you keeping yourself safe? Why are you? Why are you keeping yourself secure in maybe a financial position that's just making you tick over or just getting you from week to week? Something that I, I, I haven't focused on heaps, but lately it's been a really, really big focus of mine, bringing people into my network that want to be able to lead them the right way by getting them to tap into what, what actually motivates them in life. Why, why are they doing certain things? I'm going to take you for a tour down Palm Cove here too. I'm going to go past the beach. I'm going to say, we're young Joshy, my nephew, he's going down for a fish off the pier, which is cool. I'm starting to go through my fishing stuff this morning. I started to get um, the fishing bug again. Those who know me from the past, I love my love my fishing, camping, exploring, holidaying, travel, all that sort of stuff. It's like one of the main things. It's a big thing I haven't done this year. But here's the thing, guys. Why are you where you are now? If you're sort of not happy, why are you there? It's a cool question to ask yourself. Even people around you, and this, this goes to people who you may have in your family, um, some friends, colleagues, whatever it is, even in your workplace, if you do actually like your job and what you're doing, you've got to ask these questions. Are there people that are unhappy around? What do, what do you think it motivates them to stay there? Like I, I say, in your family. I got my younger brother, and he just has no drive for anything because he doesn't know what he wants to do. And that, that hurts me a little bit because I've got so many things I want to do in this world. It's ridiculous. And to be able to really key into what actually motivates me to to do what I want to do. Tinny, how are you? Good to see you're on. Long time no speak. I think this would be something you'd be interested in too. And this should be interesting for anyone. Because I've teamed up, like I say, with Michael Slogan. Absolute superstar businessman. He's got many, many businesses that are, are very, very successful. He's had his trials and tribulations with other ones, um, but this is something that's really rocking and rolling, and I'm absolutely wrapped to be linking arms with him. And he's made a very, very, a very, very um, strong success in this this business that I've joined up in. And it involves what I'm motivated by, what drives me. And that's why I ask you guys a question. Ori, how are you? If that's how I pronounce it. Fantastic, awesome, everyone should be fantastic. I'm just taking this for a cruise down here. I'm just gonna like turn this so when I go past the water you can see what I am, um, where I live. This is where I live down here. I, I show you the beach every morning, but then even to come for a drive down here is really it's a lot calmer. Really cool. But here's the thing, what what motivates you? What what motivates you to do what you want to do in life? Is it because you're building that that foundation to have a family or you've got a family or you you've got to pay off a house or a loan? So have a look out the window here, guys. Lots of cars down here. There's heaps of people down here. It's a popular spot. Got the palm trees above. But see, this is like a holiday destination for so many people. That, and it's what it is. I'm just so privileged that I live here. But I keyed in this a few years ago. I'm like, well, when I was going to move, when I was going to move, I want to go to a place that I've been holidaying to. I've got nothing to lock me down. Thank you, Sandy. It's all about energy. 
I've got nothing to lock me down apart from my own choices and decisions. What do I want in life? Where do I want to be comfortable as such? And this is the sort of place I wanted because I used to come on holiday here. But so many people in life don't get that. They don't get that. See, this is a beautiful Palm Cove where I am now in Queensland and I just live just up the road. I've been here for a couple of years now, even though I travel a lot. But when I travel, I go to places that are similar to this because it, it really is the sun, the beach, the water. But then I've got the mountains just up there too. I've got the rainforest. You've got the tropical climate. And this is so many, so many people's holiday destination that they go searching for. I just chose to live here because something that motivates me in life is to be able to be in places like this where the energy is amazing, the sun's out. It's what I love, but so many people, they just they just don't do it enough or they don't understand that there's vehicles that can get you to do this sort of stuff all the time. And like I say, I've made a few changes lately and the opportunity that I've got is to be in a team. I've already got four people and I've got two spots there still available with many, many people I'm talking to, like many people. I mentioned the word holidays. I mentioned the word travel. I mentioned the words make an extra income or make an income while you're traveling and people start to listen, people start to ask questions. Something that I've been using that should have word a lot lately, I should have looked into this a long time ago because it makes so much sense with what I'm all about. See me connecting, contributing, I cannot contribute anymore unless I help build a team. The more people that I work with, the more people that can contribute, that's where the ripple effect comes in. So why not live a life where you can travel around a lot more? I know a lot of people are locked into commitments at the moment, but work towards our life. Start building that income. Start building that network of friends who love to travel, love to to go to different places, see different places, and really enjoy life, enjoy the world. Like I say, it's something that I'm really keyed into lately, and it's really, really important once you do this to know if you're looking for that that bit of happiness, you're looking for that, that bit of comfort or... You're looking for that flow in life. You've got to you've got to really go deep on what what drives you, what motivates you, what are your values, what are you passionate about. Me travel is one of my number one drivers, or one of my number one values to travel to connect. Now we're just at the pier down here. Have a look at this place. It's a great spot. It really is. Got young Joshy. Say good day, Joshy. How are we? Go oh, fishing, bro. Yeah, man. Go catch some fish. I think he's pretty excited. I am. All right, man. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah, give us a buzz. Yeah. How are you, Tracy? Have, have a look at this here. See, this is what I'm talking about. I've got my nephew up here. It's just not a nice spot, Tracy. This is just a cracking spot. This is what people with families and that have really got to see, they've got to open their eyes to. There's these different options out there to make an income. He is keen as Zoe, and guess what? I'm going to be going very, very soon. Not off the pier, but I've got to get the boat cranking and I'll be going rainforest style. But people need to see these opportunities. My passion is traveling as well. Thailand books, not long back from Bali. Awesome, Sandy. Well, how about this, Sandy? Working, well, I'm not sure what you do for a living. What, what do you do for a living? Hey, we'd be more excited. Because this is what I'm talking about, making an income while you do all these things. Wealth, finance, and everything. I tell you what, it's the way that the, the world operates. A lot of people don't talk about money enough, but guess what? They probably haven't got the money, or they don't want to make the money, or they're not sure about it. you gotta, you got to realize that all these things cost money, but for me to be able to link arms with with, with someone who is successful in this company and also to create and build my own team to show others, to move others, to lead others, to, to show that traveling at the same time as working in a team, helping other people create an income or a life that they have dreamed of, then why wouldn't I do it? Because it, it all leads to that. It all interlinks with all my values, all my drivers. Like I say, travel, family, contribution, Money is one of my big drivers at the moment. It absolutely is. But for me to make more of a contribution with my mission, I need to make more money. I need to help others make more money so they can create their own dreams, create their own services, or create whatever it is they want to change lives. But to do it while you're traveling, while you're in flow, this is the thing. 
they talk about location free a lot. Location free, but it, it's true. I don't. I choose to be here where I am. I choose to be in this amazing spot. Most people come here on a holiday when they have to wait until they get a lot of time in their company, when they have to book in that holiday six or eight or 12 months in advance, go, go when everyone else is away. Why wouldn't you want to look at something that gives you the option to choose where you go, when you go, while you're working? This is me working, guys. There's a point for you. This is me working, talking to you, cruising around. I'm going to the gym now. I've got my phone there. My phone's been going nuts. Because people want to know about this stuff. But it's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. It's for people who want to work on this. People want to learn the skills. People who are really driven, like I say, by helping people, by leading people, by by traveling, by creating a life for their family. Imagine this. Imagine you've got the family there. Like I've just dropped my nephew off down there. Working and traveling best mix, Zoe. That's why we've got to talk sooner rather than later, Zoe. You'd be amazing at this. Exact, exactly, Ori, helping others reach their goals. So many goals for people right now are financial. They're money goals, financial. So why not create that income or work for that goal while you're, you're training others, working with others, you're learning, you're growing yourself to become a better person while traveling to amazing places in the world, getting discounts as you go, sharing your message as you go, connecting with more people around the world. A big thing for me to make more of an impact. I want to connect with more people around the world. So what's the best way to do that? I'm an amazing communicator and it's something I've come really, really good at the more I've developed my skills, but developed myself as a person. And something that's been big for me is talking to new people around the world when I travel. That grows me as a person just by having that connection. So what I'm saying to you now, if it's stuff that you've always dreamed of and you thought about, this is, this is definitely an option, but it's not just an option, it's a massive opportunity. Helping others, it does help yourself. Not can help yourself, it does, it does. But you've gotta be in a position to do that. That's what I mean. By having a small team of six people, I'm in a position to work with everyone one on one. And this brings all my coaching stuff into a two guys. That comes with this opportunity. That's your in, that's your in, but you've gotta know what drives you. I ask it a lot lately because it's the key. If it's making that life for your family, how are you getting there? What's a vehicle? Do you have to stay at work all the time around the clock? Or you don't get to see your family when you want to? Then you come home and pay bills every week. See, there's so much put out there, especially on social media about, oh, you want to break the nine to five and all that. Yeah, that's cool. But there's no follow-up message to that. No one really goes deep on this stuff. I'm going deep on it. It's what motivates you in the first place to be there. Is it your only skill? If you think that, that's a massive self-limiting belief. Massive. I was in the mining game. I thought my only skill was being a supervisor and digging holes on a machine. 14 or 15 months later, look what I'm doing now. I couldn't talk in crowds. I couldn't talk to people without like freaking out that they were judging me. I talk at events now. I coach people. I didn't think I could do that. I teach people how to do communicate. I I was never big on social media. I was scared of it. 14 months. So if you think you've only got one or two skills to keep you in that job, massive self-limiting beliefs. Massive. You're cutting yourself short, guys. The other thing too, it's like you are locked into the safety and security of having that scarcity mindset where you need that income. You don't see any difference. You need that income. You need that check or that same money coming every week because you've budgeted to pay for your bills to keep you going in the same pattern to save for a holiday. You might save 20 bucks a week for a holiday when you have to have a holiday at a time of the year when you're allotted by your fucking company. Brian, how are you, brother? Uh, Yeah, I love that emoji, bro. (laughs) Anyone who's on here too, you want to check out some cool stuff, especially social media. I'm not going to go into full detail. I want you to check out Ryan's, um, Ryan's Facebook. He's a superstar. Steve, how are you, man? You're on there, beast mode style. But you get what I'm saying, guys. What drives you to stay in that job right now? What motivates you is the safety and security of having that, of having that, um, that that constant check come in, that constant, that constant check, that constant money, which just keeps you afloat. 
seriously, which might go to pay your loan off for the next 25 years. To me, that's just scarcity, safety, security, scared of actually developing new skills that are, are deeply hidden inside you what actually would drive you to motivate you more to make the life and live the life you choose. There's ways to work on this, guys. This is what I'm saying, but to develop it, to do it where you get involved with a company, with a movement that actually encourages you to travel, to promote your travel, to show the happy life that you're living because you're actually living it when your motivators is. That's awesome that you love and enjoy your job, Steve. Perfect. But like I said earlier, there'd be people around you now that do not love their job. Seriously. I hear it a lot too, people, yeah, I love my job, I love my job, but I'm still stuck in a house where I don't get to travel when I want. I'm still stuck in a place where I've got to pay it off for the next 25 years. I'm still stuck doing the same thing, even though I might love the work, but I've got to deal with fuckwits every day or every second day. I've got to deal with situations where I don't need to deal with it. That's what I mean. This is what I say when I say live the life you choose. You get to choose so many things. You've got to do the work to, to work towards this, but... But by me talking about what's on that deeper level, then hey, just break away from the nine to five. Hey, yeah, do this, do that. It might sound all fancy and cool, but you've got to do the work to get there. But what work do you do? What work do you do is key here. You need to know what drives you. If you are working towards freedom for your family, are you really going to get there by, by keeping in a job that keeps you safe, that keeps you secure to a paycheck? which might give you a promotion, which might give you that extra little bit of a boost to maybe cut a year off your loans. See, if that's what it is you're driving to, wouldn't you want a vehicle that gets you there 10 or 20 times quicker? You still work hard, because most people I know work hard at their job. But they could work forever hard at their job with no real vehicle that grows a business, that grows a team, which gives you that, that either exit strategy or that freedom you desire. This is the thing. You, people need to be led to this. People need to see what's on a deeper level. Behind all the glam fam of everything that's put out there, hey, I'll send you a video, I'll send you a link. That's cool. But deep down, what are you looking for? What feeling are you are you searching for? Are you connecting with that's going to drive you to get there? Because seriously, I don't know about you guys. Going to the same job for the next 10 years because you're good at it, what feeling are you searching for in 10 years? What are you working towards? To wait for your super in 20 or 30 years? Is that what you're going to do? When super is just a fucking scam to keep you safe and secure? You know what super should be called? Gets called? Should be called scarcity. Scarcity fun. Because realistically, unless you're just developing a massive portfolio or something with it, it's bullshit. This is the way to go, guys. What drives you? What motivates you? As Mac, how are you, brother? We're going to talk about this, what I'm talking about too, man. What drives you? Is it money? If it's money and you're in a job waiting for a promotion or working your ass off to do overtime and stuff and money is your driver, wouldn't you go work somewhere else where you'd work to build a team, to teach others how to work to build a team, to make more money sooner? Sooner rather than later? Waiting for that magic fucking opportunity to come along? This is This is it. This is the why I'm talking about it. What else? What else drives you? I'd like some feedback on this. What motivates you guys on here? What drives you in life? Why are you in the job you're in now? What are you passionate about? I did see some names pop up and you've made some changes lately, which is fantastic. And I know that's what I'm talking about here because you, you've keyed into what really drives you, what you're passionate about. You've keyed into that. Absolutely. There's so many people that are in the position I'm talking about, but how many people keep themselves there for too long? Like I say, what, what I've been able to do, licking arms with Michael Slogger, which is just fantastic, him and a few other superstars, I can't even mention the name of the um the next level. It's, <laughs> it's next level. But they bring their amazing coaching talents to it. They're mentoring from their mentors. And I'm not going to go name dropping on here. If you get on a call with me, I'll drop some bold names. But even myself, I bring all my coaching, all my own clients now, and I put this to them, and they're jumping at this. They are jumping at this because they can see that now that they've done some personal development. They've opened their eyes to what drives them, to what motivates them to do what they're doing or what they want to do in life. It's what it is, guys. What do you want to do in life? 
What is that result you're looking for? What is that feeling you're searching for? Is it fulfillment? Is it contribution? Then I'll tell you what, working with a team of like people with amazing energy, wanting to make a difference, keying into what drives them and what motivates them why they're there, live on an economic planet. Oh, Christopher, we need to chat. I love that comment. See, that's, you know what that is? People will take that as arrogance. People will take that as, oh, look at me, look at me, ego, ego. No, I, I hear you there, Christopher, man. That's what drives you. Simple. To get that freedom. Simple. So many people are quick to judge. Oh, you do it for money. You do it for this. If you understood what deeply, deeply drove you, what feelings you you were searching for, you would shut up. That's serious because we have to be driven by money at some stage in our life. If you want that freedom, if you do want to live in a house or you want to you want to travel, you need the money to do it, guys. Simple. You need the money to do it. That's what the currency of the world. So the more you have that, the more you key in, and that's what drives you at a certain point in time to get where you want to go. Of course, you're going to make more money. Of course, you're going to want to make more money. Of course, you're going to talk about it more. It's simple as that. So it's just some things to think about, guys. I've done a U-Bolt now. I'm away from the beach. It does, Zoe. It provides opportunity. Like I say, Zoe, we've got to chat sooner rather than later about this. You would be, I would love to work with you on this. You would be absolutely fantastic at it. TT, I'll give you a shout out if you say hi. If you're out of bed yet. Motivates me to go from carpenter to a builder, freedom to change. But are you, Steve, are you going to be, this is the thing, motivation from carpet ability, are you going to build a team so you can have more freedom to do what you want in life? Because surely not, you don't want to build houses and stuff all your life. That's not the end result you're looking for. That's not the end result. If you're telling yourself that's what it is, I'd be a bit confused, man. Are you doing it for to make more money? Is that why you're doing it? All right, TT says hi. I've got the amazing... Chaitanya Haggard on here, Tanya or Chi Chi. She is a superstar. She she grasped this concept a while ago and she's building a business and smashing it. Because she knows what she's searching for. She knows what, what drives her. She's a personal client of mine, if you want to call that. We work on a lot of stuff together, which is really, really cool. You could call it a partnership. But she is a, a fine young example of someone young who knows what drives her, knows what motivates her, and has a massive Massive driver of contribution, but has all these other things in place first. Exactly what I'm talking about. I can talk from my position all the time, guys. But having someone like TT on here, it's really easy for you to check out what she's all about. Check out her message. Check out what she's all about, seriously. She is amazing. She is inspiring. And I'm glad she's on here because what she's doing is exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly what I'm talking about. She's building her own team. She's working with her own team to, to help grow them as people to help lead them to something that's going to provide more opportunity, keying in on what motivates them, what drives them. Leverage your time off other people's efforts. Perfect. We need to chat, Chris. <laughs> need motivation and goals to push through. Is that you, Zoe? You need motivation and goals to push through? Let's get on a call and let's talk about what, what your goals are. Let's, let's get some solid goals. All it takes is a phone call, Zoe. We get down, we sit down, we put it down and let's rock it. Simple as that. And that's the sort of people I want to work with. TT's a fine example. That's the sort of people I want in my team. I've held off with two spots. I've held off. I've got four people locked in and they're rocking and rolling already. They're already building their own teams. Growth and new challenges. Like that, Steve. That's a good answer, man. I like that. Just remember, but Steve, and you're going to know when you go to the retreat, we key right in on this. This is massive for what we do with Team Beast Mode. Internal motivators, drivers. Watch on two guys in Bali. There's exercises right throughout retreat at talking about what I'm talking about. Keying in on what drives you, what motivates you, what is your purpose, what is if it's contribution, in order to contribute, you've got to you've got to create something, a foundation for yourself, so you can contribute more. And working in a team, building a team, helping others grow, helping others grow businesses and income themselves, that's the way to do it. That's where I'm coming from right now, from that space, me building a team. So if you believe that this is something that interests you. If you believe that you would like to work with me, now is your opportunity. 
reach out say why why do you want to contribute to others why do you want to work with others why do you want to travel why do you want to work towards financial freedom more importantly freedom what would it feel like to have that freedom would you rather do it in 10 or 15 or 20 years or one two three depending on the work you put in to me it's an easy easy thing to look at in terms of scale so any questions i'm going to wait for the delay i'm at the gym again i've been rocking the gym lately like rocking it health foundation number one for me but i work on my health every day consistent daily action but imagine you were taking consistent daily action on what motivated you be it family be it travel be it money be it contribution be it like i say health all these sorts of things if you keyed all them and then you were doing this every day as a habit your life would change rapidly simple just like mine has simple any questions, inbox me now. I've got to rock and roll. Thank you, everyone, for being on. I will talk to you very, very soon about more of this. Like I say, there's only a couple of spots left.